What is going on, YouTube? Have you just recently gotten an Elgato Stream Deck, or you've had one for quite some time, and now you're finally deciding to take advantage of all of the cool things that you can do with your Stream Deck, like customizing the icons, adding your smart lights and smart devices to control them, and even bringing in royalty-free music from the music and sound effects store? Wait a minute, you didn't know that you can do some of those things? It's all good because this is the first video in a playlist series that I am doing on the Elgato and the many great features that are available to us as content creators to make our workflow more efficient and more productive. The first video that we're going to be going over today is the music and sound effects store. So by being an Elgato customer and by having the stream deck, they have made available to us tens of thousands royalty free, copyright free music that we can use in our live streams or in our content creation videos without having to worry about any of those copyright strikes. I'm India Delgado. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new here, I appreciate you checking out my video. And of course, if you're a returning user, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back and checking out what I've got going on. Let's get straight into today's video. We wanna get into the Stream Deck store, which is what you're looking at now. And in order to open up the store, you're going to look for the Stream Deck button that is in your taskbar. You're gonna click it and it'll open up an additional menu and towards the bottom under preferences, you'll see store. You click on that and it's gonna open up this page here. And you can see now on the left hand side, you have discover, you have your plugins, icons, and what we're gonna be focusing on today is the music and sound effects section. So we're gonna open up music and it gives us some options where we can filter down whether it's by genre, instrument, the tempo, and even the duration. I want you to take note that this is 10, over 10,000 songs available to us. And I wanna emphasize that this is one royalty free and it's copyright free, but it's completely free. That is huge because like some other providers like Epidemic or Audio or something else, you usually have to pay on a monthly subscription or on an annual basis to get a discount. And Elgato has made this music store available to us because we've purchased the Stream Deck and we're Elgato customers. I've referenced the uh, link article down in the description below that shows that it is copyright free if you want to read up and do some educational pieces there. But for now, let's get back to the store. What I want to do is I want to filter it down by genre and I'm going to open up the hip hop category. I want to filter that down a little bit more to R&B. And then what I want to do is I'm looking for an intro song for when I start up my live streams. And let's bring this down. Let's say let's look at Let's do right over three minutes, three minutes and five seconds. You can see here, you get some type of information. Of course, you get the name of the song. You get the beats per minute. So this one here has 198 beats per minute. And you can see the wavelengths where it starts off subtle and then gets a little bit, you know, busier. And then here's something where it's consistent all the way through. And then, of course, the duration. So you have two minutes and 33 seconds. So I'm going to look at something that has, let's see, this background that chill ambient. So for this video, I'm just going to hit download. Let it do its thing. And now that it's downloaded, we need to come into the actual configure stream deck menu because we want to move the music from the computer onto our stream deck. You're going to access this under the stream deck icon located in your task bar and you'll see it says configure stream deck that'll open up this menu here we're going to just choose play audio bring that over and it gives us some extra options down here 
and I want to just choose the file that I just downloaded. When I hit choose, it opens up a secondary window. It does go automatically to where it downloaded that music to. It does give you a, its own dedicated audio folder. And I'm just going to search for it. So it's background chill ambient, double click on it, and it brings it into now my stream deck. You have some options under action. And if we drop down that menu, it's going to every time you press that button on your stream deck, it's going to play or stop. If you choose this one, when you press the button and you press it again, it's going to play an overlap. And the same thing here, if you press play and you want it to keep going. So if you want to have constant music going on in the background, you would do loop. And then when you press the button again, it would stop. For now, I just want to do play slash stop. Right next to it, you have some additional options like your fade. So it defaults to no fade, but you can do just a fade in just a fade out, or you can select both fade in and fade out. I'm going to do a fade in and fade out. And when you select one of the fade options, it actually gives you another menu and you can choose the length of how long it chooses to fade. So do you want it to incrementally go within the first five seconds of a very slow fade, or do you want it to be a quicker fading in and fading out? The default is two seconds. I'm going to do three seconds. And then the last thing that you want to do to customize this is really paying attention to the volume. So it defaults to 50%. I'm going to actually bring this down to 25%. And now it has already been added to my every my stream deck. And if I press the button, it's going to open up the file. You're, you're going to start hearing it on the stream. And then you're going to see waveforms with a countdown and it shows you how much longer is left for that song. I'm going to press it again to stop it. So as I press the button, it started to play with that slow fade in for three seconds. I press the button again and it stopped fading for that three seconds. So you can bring in as much music as you want. The process is pretty much the same when you're bringing in sound effects, but I do want to show you a little bit of a shortcut. The first way we got to the music store was by going to your stream deck icon in your taskbar, opening up that window, hitting store on the left hand side going to music. Now you can see here, we actually can hit it directly from within the customized stream deck option. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring in a play audio file directly into a blank window. I'm going to come down here and hit SFX plus. And now that opens up directly the stream deck sound effects section. You have similar options where you can break it down by category, alarms, buzzers, emergency, impact, and it goes on. And then the same thing, you can choose your duration. So for here, I'm going to bring it down to, let's say, since it's a sound effect, I want to do a five second or less sound effect. I'm going to download that, come back to my con configure stream deck page. You can see that it just, it doesn't have any information on here. It's just kind of blank. So I'm going to go back to choosing file. It's going to open up the folder where it saved everything. I'm going to look for computer keyboard type sequence. Make sure I get the right one. And we've double clicked on it and it comes and it brings it in. The only thing that I will do is I'm going to, again, lower the volume um, for a sound effect. Let's say I'm going to bring it down to 20%. It came now automatically on my stream deck. I'm going to press the button. It plays. And then as it's done playing, it's going to finish and go back to the regular folder to let you know that it's no longer playing. That is it. Super simple, super easy, right? You can customize your stream deck with copyright free, royalty free music that you can add in as a content creator and not worry about getting any strikes against you and jeopardizing your channel. Now, I did say that I was going to go over some plugins. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the actual store 
this is what I'm going to be covering in an upcoming video. Some of the plugins that you have. So if you look, there is a Zoom plugin. There's a YouTube plugin. If you have Philips lights, that's how you would control your smart lights with that plugin. And then even icons. We're going to be going over that as well in another video, customizing your icons so that you can make your stream deck unique like you. Thank you so much for watch watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found this video useful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to check out the next video where we're gonna go over the available plugins available to you and how you can really utilize them. You'll find that video right here. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.